Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. I put my heart into everything I do, so if you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by and check them out. Now, in tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday special, how to finish your straight razor, synthetic versus natural. George Campbell suggested one thing you could cover is the type of finish on the razor's edge. Different finishing stones have different results. Some have a crisp feel while others have a smooth to creamy feel and some in between. And George, this is for you. Here is my Gold Dollar 208. Here is my ZY430. Here is my Gold Dollar 66. Number one, I use this special heat tape. You can find this and it is fantastic for putting on your straight razor. Number two, go ahead and glass that edge. That'll go ahead and roll it over and we'll have something to start with. Number three, we're doing a refresh, so we're going to start with the Shapton 8K Ceramic Stone. I really enjoy this one. I think it does a good job. Yep. Now, it is ceramic stone, so it does not have to be soaking. However, you do have to keep it wet. So keep that in mind if you're planning on using one. And now we're going to be using uh, Axe Strokes tonight. Let's do it. We're going to do 20 on each side. And 20. And 10. And 10. Five. Five. Three, okay, now I'm going to make sure and get that, keep that wet, all right, now we're going to do 10 in like manner. Switching it up every time. Okay, now let's look at this one under the microscope. Here is my Gold Dollar 208. Here is my ZY430. Here is my Gold Dollar 66. Number four, on the GD208, we will be using a Shapton 12K ceramic stone to start the finishing process. Now again, this does not have to be soaking because it is a ceramic stone. All right. So there we go. We're just going to get it wet. Let's do this.
cast 20 on each side. I'm just going to make sure that stone stays wet because it looks like it's kind of drying out on me. Uh, little to no pressure, uh, by the way, on this 12K stone. Now we're going to do 10 in both directions. to the Metal Master 15K. And this is a synthetic stone. It needed to be soaked. So I have had it soaking for at least five minutes. And now let's go ahead and put some strokes on this one. There's 20. I'm going to do a little more. All right, that feels good. Now, let's put it under the microscope and see what it looks like. Number six, I will be using the Charnley Forest on the ZY430. Number seven, we're going to build a slurry with the DMT. Number eight, I'm going to be using ovals. I'm going to be using X strokes. I'm going to be using mini half strokes and full half strokes. 
I'm going to try everything with this stone because this is really the first time I've ever used a Charnley Forest. Number nine, I'm going to thin out that slurry a little bit at a time. Number 10, we're going to go straight water with glycerin. This stone comes from George Campbell and this is a slip stone. These are normally used to uh, take and sharpen woodworking tools, but you can also use it to hone your razor. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And, uh, you know, with this one, you, like I say, you can actually sharpen your woodworking chisels and things like that with all these wonderful different edges and uh, works. I, I would think it would work quite well. And George says this is fantastic for straight razors. So we're going to give it a try. Now, the secret to this is you build up a slurry and I've got my DMT and as you see, it's really wore out. Um, this is the coarse version. So this is uh, originally was a 325 grit, but as you can see, there's very little left on it. So he said, go ahead and build a slurry on this stone and go to town with it. So let's do that. All right, here we go. Yep, very nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this. So we can get that a little wetter. There we go. This is the first time I've used this stone, so we're just going to go ahead and do some ovals on it. That's what George says he does, so hopefully I'm doing that right. And we'll see how this goes. Now, I would normally probably be doing like that for me. That feels more comfortable. I normally don't do circles or ovals. Let me just do it this way because this is actually more comfortable for me. And we'll just see. It's all about learning new things, trying new things. So this is new stone. And I would think this is going to be a pretty nice finish on this stone. So we will find out. And we'll see how that works. Let's go ahead and throw in some kind of, I wonder if I did it that way. Yeah, that might work. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, that's starting to work for me, I think. <laughs> You know, always try something new. That's the way we learn, trying new things. Okay, now. We're 
we're going to now delete that. and run it like that. Okay, now, looking good. wonder if on this one half strokes looks like it would work yeah Yeah, that's starting to feel really good. Okay. Now. Go ahead and get that cleaned off. says he uses Smith honing oil and what I have is straight up glycerin so let's try that we're going to just put some of that on there with water and see how that works Yeah, it does slicken it up, that's for sure. OK. 
Okay. Now. Go ahead and dilute that a little bit. Oh yeah. Now it's really getting sticky. Hmm. Nice. Nice and sticky. Feels good. Okay, I think we're done with this one. Now we'll go ahead and put this under the microscope and let's take a look at it. Number 11, using the Imperia La Roca under running water with the Gold Dollar 66. Next up, we're gonna finish with my ILR. So this is the Imperia La Roca. Gonna Turn on that water, we get a, a nice little stream going. Something like that. And what we do is we do the axe strokes. Just under running water. And it's already starting to be sticky. And if it wasn't starting to be sticky, one of the things I found you can do is these mini half strokes like this that really do quite a good job on speeding up this process quite a bit if you have a razor that's stubborn all right but basically what we're going to do is just run these axe strokes until that blade starts sticking to the stone which it already is Yeah. All right, so that's already sticking. Now I'm going to just go ahead, since this is a natural stone, and rotate it. And then I'm going to up the water flow a little bit, get the hydroplane effect a little higher. Yeah, so that freed up that razor quite a bit. There we go. And it's starting to stick again. Yeah. 
and I'm not putting any pressure on this at all. That's it, right there. We are done. And we're all good to go. Okay, now let's look at this one under the microscope. I do the Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. So if I missed something that you wanted to see in this video, go ahead and put it down in the comments. All right, the way I get my ideas for the Straight Razor Edge Friday specials is from you. So in the comments, put your questions, comments, suggestions, and even uh, your ideas for a upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special. Click on this card to see my Straight Razor Edge Friday special helping 10,000 brand new straight razor shavers. You click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.